Well, hi there. You're back here with Barry. And before we get started, I, I was planning on doing this early this morning. And uh, my God, uh, we got a downpour of rain here. Leanne and I are doing a bunch of uh, landscaping around the house and planting a bunch of fruit trees and just kind of advancing a bit more on uh, all the things I'm telling um, the people that listen to me to do. It, it's kind of like, um, it's not a destination, it's a journey, right? There's always something to do. And if you, if you do a little bit at a time, you'd really be surprised uh, how things do add up. And that's what I try to get across to my readers and people who watch me on YouTube. I don't believe in panic. And I don't believe in, in really, um, look, panic and getting angry is not the answer to anything. And I just leave it at that. Now, that's not to say I don't have my moods, because we all do. But anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about something that is a very, very serious ongoing. Um, it really doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm going to gander at some notes while I talk to you. It really doesn't matter what citizenry is being abused. Uh, history will provide us with many, many examples of that. And, uh, and, and ranging from the Sumerians to the Zadokites to the Romans to the Greeks to the Phoenicians and on and on and on. And it brings me to a bit of a sad situation because what seems to be the next citizenry in line to be used as cannon fodder uh, seems to be the Ukrainians. And there's always been, throughout history, on any major confrontation, there's always been at least one citizenry, if not more, but at least one who's been selected for the role. And uh, just in my grandparents, my parents, and my life, which is not all that long when you add them together, you, you could say there was the, the Japanese in World War I, you can say there was the Jews. You could say <laughs> there was the Russians, the Ukraines, on and on and on. But it's always one, one or more. Uh, usually, I believe from our studies, this is determined by uh, one who's causing the problems. They don't usually want it near their soil, although that does backfire. And we'll talk about that on a, in a, a future video, because that creates internal violence and uh, re revolt between citizens of the same nation. But that's for another uh, YouTube. But it's sad because um, more than once I have pointed out on past videos and have written in past blogs. And I've asked, you know, you dear folks that, you know, kind of watch me from time to time, uh, what do you feel is the most dangerous weapon that we have on this planet? And I have gotten some of the most exotic and creative answers you could, you could ever want. Before shadow banning, I mean, we'd get 80, 90 emails a day. And for, for someone like me, that, I never thought that would happen. But I always said any nation's most dangerous weapon is an ignorant citizenry. Now, I know I only have, I think, three or four subscribers out of that area of the world, of Ukraine, where the trouble is. It's not many at all. But it's my sincere desire that people who have relatives and people who have a stronger means of reaching good, innocent people, the public, than I do, do your best to warn, because um, I'm going to continue a bit on with this, but Zelensky, it should be obvious, and I know to most of my, my readers and, and, and my crew, I, I know you already know this. I know that. It's the people that you care for most sometimes that don't, and that's what makes this so difficult. So um, I want to continue on here, but the ignorant citizenry, why I say that, and I think a lot of you have agreed with me, you just have never looked at it from that point, is the ignorant citizenry, it is the catalyst that ignites everything else that follows. And right now, I'm not here to change anybody's minds. I'm, uh, people know that about me, and I don't. I just provide honest research that we've done. You're seeing a lot of Ukrainian flags flying in 
many different nations, they're missing the point completely. And it's just sad. I know what's going to follow. Okay. And anyway, I'll pick this up. But uh, the last thing I want to say before moving on, because we're going to talk a little bit briefly, I promise I won't be long, but we'll, we, uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the geography and the layout as to why the Ukrainians, like I say, it's, it's either done from natural resources or it's done based on geography, okay, for the upcoming conflict. That's how they select the citizenry they're going to. Uh, they'll either blame it on a particular uh, religious faith or they'll locate it where they need it for a particular military or economic benefit or a natural resource benefit. Okay, we'll pick this up on the other side, but there's, there's, there is no point in debating when facts are denied. Um, you're only wasting your breath and, uh, you know, so Again, I'm, I'm cautioning you good folks that care a lot about people. That was the past. It's time for yourself. Let's move on. We'll talk soon.